People are terrified of losing their pets, but here are 12 pets that have been lost for years and traveled thousands of miles and still manage to find their way home. Number 11, Reckless the Dog. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy devastated the northeast coast of the United States. One pair of victims of the hurricane were Chuck and Alicia James, who lived in New Jersey at the time. The storm damaged the fence in their backyard, allowing their terrier pit bull mix named Reckless to escape. Understandably, Chuck and Alicia were heartbroken. They searched for Reckless for several months before accepting he must have died in the storm. A year and a half later, the couple finally felt ready to adopt a new dog. So they visited a local animal shelter and received an astounding surprise. There was Reckless, waiting for them all this time. The shelter had renamed him Lucas. According to Chuck, Reckless jumped three feet in the air when he saw the couple and they were all happily reunited. Number 10, Alfie the Resurrected Cat. Here's a weird one. It has echoes of Stephen King's Salem's Lot, but without the necromancy and terrible ending. One day in 2009, Angela Petrillo of Milnrow, Greater Manchester, England, came upon a sad sight. A car hit an orange tomcat near his home. The cat strongly resembled Petrillo's Alfie, who was nowhere to be found. Convinced that it was his cat, they buried poor Alfie, and shortly afterward, he and his family moved to a new home. It's a sad story too often repeated the world over. But the story in this case doesn't end here. Nine months later, a friend from his old neighborhood called Petrillo to tell him a ginger cat was at their old house trying to get in. Their old home was a mere mile away, so they went to investigate. To their surprise, it was Alfie. He had put on weight, so it was obvious that someone had been taking care of him. And to this day, the Petrillos still don't know whose cat they buried or where Alfie had been all that time. Number 9. Opie the Horse In 2003, Michelle Poole of Eureka, Arkansas went to the hospital to have surgery on her back. Instead of paying the expensive boarding fees for her horse Opie, she asked her father in San Antonio, Texas to watch over him while she recovered. Her father enclosed Opie in his pasture because he didn't have a stable. One night, someone clipped the metal fence and stole the horse. Why would anyone do that? Well, Opie is a saddlebred pinto, which is a breed worth anywhere from $1,200 to $15,000. Upon learning what happened, Poole went on the search. She made flyers, contacted the local sheriff's office, and submitted the case to an organization called Stolen Horse International. Nearly 10 long years passed and there was no sign of Opie until Poole received an amazing phone call. Opie had been found. A woman named Deanna Bordelon was looking for a horse for her 13-year-old daughter when she came across a lovely saddlebred pinto on Craigslist. The horse was named Warbonnet and was being sold by a woman named Della Braid. According to Braid, a pastor gave her Warbonnet eight years ago. The pastor claimed he couldn't do anything with Warbonnet because he was shy and had been abused. But Braid made progress with the horse, so the pastor gave him to her. According to the pastor, he got it from another man who claimed to have found the horse wandering down the highway. Bordelon thought the story was weird and convoluted, so she did a little sleuthing. She found a picture of Opie and realized it was the same horse. She contacted the authorities right away. A team of contract cowboys who seized the horse from Bordelon. Bordelon claimed she didn't know the horse was stolen. Not enough evidence was found against anyone, so no one was charged. Poole, for her part, was glad to get Opie back, and from his reaction in a video of the reunion, he was pretty happy too. Number 8. Bucky the Dog Mark Wessels lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with his black Labrador, Bucky. Unfortunately, his community banned dogs and Wessels had to give up Bucky or be forced to move. He left the dog with his father in Virginia. Soon after, though, Bucky went missing and Wessels feared the worst. One day, a Myrtle Beach resident named Brett Gallagher found a black lab wandering his community. The dog seemed to look like his yellow lab, so Gallagher took him home. The poor dog was emaciated, so Gallagher fed him and discovered he belonged to Wessels. As soon as the vet called him by the name of Bucky, the young dog went nuts with joy. Gallagher contacted Wessels, who brought Bucky home. It's believed Bucky used his keen senses of smell and direction to make the 500-mile trek. 
News reports indicate that Wessels was able to keep Bucky in his home. Number 7. Holly the Cat Their cat Holly went on vacation in Daytona Beach, Florida. While there, Holly the Cat became frightened by fireworks and ran away. They spent days looking for Holly but were eventually forced to return to their West Palm Beach home 190 miles away. 63 days later, a West Palm Beach resident named Barb Mazzola found an emaciated cat with worn paws wandering her yard. The cat was so weak she couldn't even meow. Mazzola took the cat to the vet who discovered a microchip under the kitty's skin. The microchip identified the cat as Holly and the Richters as her owners, who were happy to be reunited with their lost feline. Because of the state of her paws and that she had lost half of her original weight, experts believe she walked the 190 miles, which is very unusual for cats. Number 6. Andy the Tortoise One day, Andy the Tortoise dug under the fence of his cage in Brenton, Northumberland and escaped, much to the heartbreak of his seven-year-old owner, Ella. A nearby stream led Ella's father to believe Andy had been swept away and subsequently died. However, a year later, a friend of Ella's family noticed a tortoise walking down the road near Ella's house. The next day at school, it was mentioned, and Ella said she lost her tortoise a year ago. She was shown the little guy, and she immediately recognized him as Andy. It's believed that Andy crossed one of Britain's busiest railroads and three pastures full of sheep and cattle to arrive where he was found. Number 5. Suika the Cat On March 11, 2011, a tsunami swept over the Iwate Prefecture in Japan. Takeo and Kazuko Yamagishi, as they evacuated to high ground, did not have time to find their indoor-outdoor cat, Suika. When they returned home, Suika was nowhere to be found. For three months, the couple searched for her before giving up hope. Then three years later, a couple hiking in a forest not too far from the Yamagishi's home noticed a black cat curled up in the high branches of a tree. They rescued the cat and noticed her collar had a charm with the name and phone number of the owners. Three years later, they immediately called the Yamagishi's and they were reunited with little Suika. Number 4. Charles the Cat in 2009, Robin Alex of Albuquerque, New Mexico, went to New Orleans to build a Habitat for Humanity house. On returning, she discovered her cat Charles was missing. She searched for her beloved feline, but to no avail. That is, until eight months later, when she received a call from Chicago Animal Care and Control that was both good news and bad news. They had picked up a cat with a microchip identifying her as the owner. However, if she didn't come in six days to pick him up, he would be euthanized. How Charles traveled 1,300 miles from home was the last thing on Alex's mind as she scrambled to find a way to get him. Unfortunately, she couldn't afford a round-trip ticket, and it looked as if poor Charles's fate was sealed. The local news picked up the story, which then went national. Alex took advantage of the media attention to ask if anyone was planning a trip to Chicago and would be able to help her. That's when fellow Albuquerque resident Lucien Sims stepped up. Sims said that he has a tabby cat who strongly resembles Charles and was moved when his mother sent him an online story about Alex and her pet. Sims was traveling to a wedding in Chicago and volunteered to pick Charles up. If that wasn't good enough, American Airlines did not charge a travel fee for the cat. Another story that ends well. Number 3. Fuzzy the Cat Michelle Wright of Barrington, New Hampshire was devastated when a neighbor told her a cat resembling hers was struck and killed by a car. Fuzzy was missing and Wright took it for granted that the cat her neighbor saw was Fuzzy. Then, in 2014, four years later, the Cocheco Valley Humane Society took a shelter cat down to the Pet Connections Pet Store. The store just happened to be down the street from Wright's home. Shortly afterward, Wright stopped in to buy pet supplies. The more she looked at the cat, the more she was convinced it was Fuzzy. Wright brought in pictures and described a unique mark on Fuzzy's paw. It was definitely her cat. Unfortunately, Wright still had to go through the procedure of adopting Fuzzy from the shelter and paid the $85 fee. However, it was money well spent because it covered Fuzzy shots and included a microchip implantation. Number 2. Crockett the Couch Kitty 
One day, Pauline and Bill Lowe of Coringham, England donated two couches to the St. Luke's Hospice Charity Shop in Grays, Essex. To get one of the couches through the door, it had to be disassembled inside the house and reassembled after it was outside. Soon after, the Lowe's noticed their cat, Crockett, was missing. However, they couldn't figure out how he managed to slip outside or where he could have gone. One of the couches, probably the one that had to be disassembled, went to a new home. Soon after, the new owners heard a soft meow coming from their new piece of furniture. On closer investigation, they saw two claws poking out of the material which moved away when touched. They ripped open the fabric under the sofa and rescued poor Crockett, who got stuck inside. The poor 10-year-old kitty appeared to be in good condition despite being without food and water for several days, and he was returned to his owners. Number 1. Willow the Cat In 2006, a calico kitty named Willow escaped from her Boulder, Colorado home. Contractors were there doing renovations and they left the door open, allowing Willow to slip outside. Her owners eventually concluded a coyote or another predator in the Rocky Mountains had eaten poor Willow. That is, until five years later. One day they received a surprise phone call. Willow had been found in New York City over a thousand miles away. A calico cat was found wandering the streets of Manhattan and was scooped up by a good Samaritan who took the kitty to the vet. The vet scanned her for a microchip, which was how they learned her owners lived in Boulder. The Today Show on learning about this amazing story offered to pay for the Squires to fly to New York in exchange for an exclusive. Afterward, Willow became an overnight celebrity. How she got to New York in the first place remains a mystery. Michael Bloomberg, mayor of New York City at the time, said cats reputedly have nine lives and he clearly wanted to spend at least one of them in New York City. Thanks for watching! Know of any other amazing pet stories? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!